Early voting gets underway in Chicago tomorrow, and a competitive race for Congress is shaping up on the city's west side. Tonight, a powerful union is throwing its weight behind one of the political hopefuls, trying to end Danny Davis's 27-year career on Capitol Hill. WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here tonight. Taman. Good evening. This one is getting good. Endorsements usually don't mean anything unless it's a group with vast resources and influence and a history of moving poll numbers. Today, an endorsement of note in the 7th Congressional Democratic primary, the Chicago Teachers Union is throwing its support behind Melissa Conyers Irvin. You know, and today we are so proud to announce that with all the hard work that we've been doing, with all of the support that we've been receiving, that we have the support of the Chicago Teachers Union. In a statement, CTU President Stacey Davis Gates said, as a union that is overwhelmingly made up of women who see the challenges families face every day, we believe it's time to send a working mom to Congress. That's why we're supporting Melissa Conyers Irvin. Born and raised in the district, Conyers Irvin serves as Chicago City Treasurer. She says she wants to go to Washington to secure greater investments for the West Side. This is a very unique district. It includes the entire loop of Chicago a very affluent district, very affluent area, but it also includes the most underserved communities, not only within our city, but I will argue within our country. To win, Conyers Irvin will have to beat 14-term Congressman Danny Davis, who's made a series of recent stops highlighting investments he scored for the district. With about five weeks left before Election Day, Conyers Irvin is sharpening her attacks. Congressman Davis has been in office just about since I've been born. I've lived in the 7th Congressional District my entire life. The district, the west and south sides of Chicago, I cannot even argue say, to say they look the same. Unfortunately, they look worse. And it's time for someone with new ideas that is relevant to the challenges that working families face today. As Treasurer Conyers Irvin has faced controversy, the Board of Ethics found she violated the city's ethics code by firing two staffers who alleged wrongdoing in the office. Have you ever threatened to retaliate against employees who raise concerns about your, your conduct? We've issued that statement. We've had several interviews. But just to the substance of the allegations made against you, did you use a staffer to plan your daughter's birthday and or go grocery shopping? Did you use an employee to be your bodyguard? I've addressed those allegations. I've issued the statements. In the March 19th primary, it's Davis and Conyers Irvin, but also in the hunt, Kena Collins, who lost to Davis by roughly 4,600 votes two years ago. And rounding out the field, Corey Marshall and Nikhil Batia. The CTU endorsement often comes with money and foot soldiers, something Conyers Irvin will want to close out the campaign. But Danny Davis maintains strong support, including the backing of Cook County Democratic Party boss Tony Preckwinkle and various influential state lawmakers. Mike Henry. All right, Tamon, thank you.